On the first day when we were here on Tuesday before the conference officially opened, we had a session about entrepreneurship and had our Gratitude Award entrepreneurs, and then we had some folks who have had many years of experience in successful social entrepreneurship uh, on our stage. And in the middle of that, we had a wonderful presentation, talk, inspirational moment with a dear friend of mine, Becca Stevens from Nashville, Tennessee. And we didn't want only the people who were here on the first day to meet Becca. She is the person who started Thistle Farms, and if you've been by our marketplace, you will see the products from Thistle Farms, and you can hear about the stories that come out of the work that she's doing at Magdalene and Thistle Farms. And Becca's going to come to the stage and talk for a few minutes, and then she's from Nashville, and another Nashvillian who I'm particularly happy is with us this year, Chuck Cannon, will be coming to the stage to sing for us a little bit again, and we're want to welcome my good friend Becca Stevens to the stage. Thank you. Mm. So not too long ago, I was invited to be a speaker at a human trafficking conference. And I think I was invited for three reasons. And the first one is because, how do you make this go on? There it is. The first one is because I'm the founder, and I've been a part of this work at Thistle Farms for years and years, and we've grown into the largest social enterprise for women survivors of trafficking, prostitution, and addiction. It's run by the women. There's probably 70 employees that manufacture products. We have a great line. People love it, and they wanted to hear about it and hear about this good news. The second reason I was invited is because the model began with Housing First for Women, who are coming off the streets and out of prisons, who are first raped between the ages of 7 and 11 on average, who, who first hit the streets about 14 to 16 years old. And we have this old school model. I know here it's really popular to have the new, new, newest amazing idea. But sometimes old is the new, new. And this is an old school model that says love heals. We invite women to come in for two years free with no authority living in the house. And it's been a great model over the years, and women have come in, about 80% of the women who come in stay clean and sober two and a half years later. Thank you for clapping. That is so nice. And so we've started sister communities around the country where we can partner and become a national network for women who are trying to find safe places. We always have at least 100 women on our waiting list. I've had two calls today since I've been here from women in other states who need help, need sanctuary, are running away, and need a place to go. And the third reason that I think I was invited was because we are looking at a global issue and we've had a global response. The universal issues of sexual violence against women are born on women's individual backs. And it takes small communities to do this healing, but we need to have supply chains and distributions that are global to find markets so women can make living wages and make restitution with their family. And that old saying, rape the women and kill the village is true, and you heal the women and you heal the villages. So I did my talk, I did my talk, felt really good about it. People were going to buy the products, we were going to be able to stay open yet another week. When a young woman came up to me right after the talk, a young woman like most of the women that I serve, ran away from home, was stuffed into a trunk, taken to Texas where she was kept for about 18 months before she found a way out. She was at this conference after finding a safe house, and she comes up to me after I finish speaking and whispers in my ear, tell me again what love is, all this stuff you're saying, what does it mean? And I've been thinking about her words the last couple days while I've been here and thinking about all this language and all this amazing talk. Y'all are brilliant and doing beautiful things. 
And I think, what does it mean? What are we doing? What does it mean to take our ideals and our hopes for this world and how we want to be in it and live into it with dignity and compassion and love? And I think I've gotten it down to what it means for me. It means first that I do believe that love is the most powerful force for social change. It impacts. It helps us with supply chains. It helps us grow exponentially. Love can do that. It can transform. It can do all of those change-making things we desire. And I think love is this ideal that we are willing to put into practice in our daily lives. I have learned more about love in the drudgery of this work of social enterprise in the daily task than I ever could by just pontificating about it. And finally, I think what it means for me is that it's who and what I choose to let break my heart. She has inspired me, and you guys have inspired all of us here. Jovita, Lori, who are both still in the residential program, Franny, and Abby, and Rosalie, who have helped orchestrate our being here and directing it. It's inspired me to say, I am just getting started. This beautiful young woman and the two women that she lives with in her house are coming this weekend to Thistle Farms to start their training as the first regional sales team. We have 1,700 women that are part of Shared Trade, 70 women employed in Nashville, and we're going to double it. And we are going to have an impact, and we are going to be re-inspired. We get to go around the country and keep one person at a time reminding people that we can be inspired again by love to do this great work we have all felt called to do and live into. Not too long ago, I went to Florida with one of the residents who shared that story who spent 26 years on the street. We got to Florida and she said even though she had seen the inside of prison walls and the underside of bridges and the back side of anger and the short side of justice, she had never seen the ocean, so we went straight there. And I got to be with her when her feet first hit those sugar sands. And when she stepped into the ocean, she just raised her arms and lifted her head and said, has this been doing this my whole life? Now, as long, all those 26 years, that woman was walking the streets, that tide was going in and out. As long as the moon's been spinning around the earth, that tide has been going in and out. But longer and deeper than that tide is love, and it is more powerful. And when we come together and when we hope, we can do great things. Thank you for welcoming us into this conference. Thank you for having us. Thank you for letting us dream bigger again. We love you.